Ladies and gentlemen, sorry to interrupt you from your listening pleasure. I'd like to have your undivided attention, please, and please welcome the Honorable Mr. Psycho Michael to the podium. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Brother Clark from the Suicidal Family for that fine greeting. Anyhow, I want to jump in real quick so we can get back to the music. It's jamming. I know you know, and I know it too. But sometimes you got to go to that extra level, take another step, step back, and get a good running start on it. See, right now I have to get to a point, a point most people won't go because it's a little bit too close to the truth, and the truth isn't something that's going to benefit them in the way that they want it to be. See, my dad taught me a long time ago, it's not what someone does, it's why they do it that really matters. And that's what you should judge them for. People can be the nicest person in the world, but that's only to get you to think they're nice so they can let down the guard a little bit and you're there and then you go in their door and they mess with your mind anyhow too many people trying to get you to think the way they want you to think what we say is trying to get you to think whatever way that may be but to realize the way you're thinking may not be the right way and to give it a little extra thought so with that in mind the question is what do we do why we do everyone's got a motivation and sometimes you got to judge that to see where their power is coming from or where they're trying to throw it see our motivation being in a band what we're trying to get across is this right here that little extra level you see, most people think they think, but they're not really thinking, so they stop thinking because they thought they already thought, but they never did in the first place, so it's their own little safety level. So I sit there and say, if there's all these people so smart, thinking so good, how come every day in my life there's so many damn stupid people doing stupid things? See, a wise man once told me, he said, Mike, there's two clubs. There's the stupid people and the smart people. Ain't nobody blocking the door at the stupid entrance. Anyone can go there. But the smart entrance is a little more exclusive. So what do you want to belong to? The country club or the cardboard shack? The penthouse or the outhouse? Seems like an easy decision to me. So what we're all thinking about right now is what we're talking about. What we're talking about is what we're thinking about. And that's the whole point. You should think before you talk. So where we're at right now is a place that we want to go. A little bit of help. See... Every day, everywhere you go, people do stupid things. 365 days out of the year, people not thinking. People that have the ability to think that aren't thinking. So what we want to do is nominate one day. Call it International Don't Be Stupid Day. Now, what this is going to do is be a little reminder. Maybe we can wear a pin. Maybe you can send the tape to somebody. And when they start to do something, you say, whoa, 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 hold on there, partner. Today is Don't Be Stupid Day, so you can't do that. So what we want you to do is just take a 24 hours out of your life. Think about all them dumb things that you just go right ahead and do when you know damn well you wouldn't want anyone else to do it if you really cared about them. So start caring about yourself. Start using your mind. And as we say, start your brain.